You're watching the Big 12 on ESPN. A crosstown robbery is renewed tonight. It's the 83rd all-time meeting as the Rice Owls visit the number three Houston Cougars. Good evening, I'm Matt Peterson with the Houston great Bree Gettis. Tonight we'll see a contrast in styles, Ray. What challenge will Rice have trying to run its offense against this Houston defense? You know, Scott Perry was really honest. He, he talked about Houston's defense. He said, they just jar you. And, and he said, you can't simulate it. You can't prepare for it. So he really has no idea. It's a unique offense. They take their 6'11 guy and they bring him up to the top of the key. And they invert all of their action. Absolutely a contrast in styles here tonight. That 6'11 guy is Max Feeler, fifth year senior, has been all across the records for Rice, and he'll face this Houston defense tonight. Well, a unique skill set. The 6'11 Scott Feeler leads the Rice Owls in rebounding and assists. Last year, he struggled with the pressure. If the Owls are going to have a chance here this evening, Max Feeler has to be able to handle the pressure he's going to get when the ball's in his hands out on the perimeter. The Houston Cougars went to Xavier on Friday, and they won despite a lot of foul trouble behind five threes and 23 points from L.J. Cryer. Yeah, I'm just telling you, Jamal Shedd and L.J. Cryer are both playing like All-Americans. L.J. Cryer struggled his very first game for Houston. He was one for nine. Since then, he has shot the ball as well as anybody in the country, and man, was he huge against Xavier with those 23 points. And now, Reed, let's get to your keys to the game. Now, Rice, when they shoot a better field goal percentage than the opponents, they're 3-0. When they don't, they are 0-5. And, and then they have to have team rebounding. Max Fiedler is a terrific rebounder, but nobody else. For Houston, Travis Eby for the Rice Owls, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. Fourth among active players in NCAA. You have got to run him off the line. Don't let him stand out there and shoot threes. And then if you keep Max Fiedler off of the glass, well, what a challenge for the Rice Owls. Who else is going to go get some rebounds? It's Fiedler against Francis. And underway in the 83rd all-time meeting, Alain Husseinovich controls the tip across to Travis Eby. And the starting five, Eby, Husseinovich, Mason, Dawes, and Fiedler. And the Rice Owls showing up in their alternate black uniforms. You need to not see them in the blue or the white. Yeah. Keanu Dawes out of Stratford High School. And Roberts plays the rebound. Emmanuel Sharp, over 35 minutes on Friday and Xavier in the win. Francis against Fiedler. And Fiedler called for a foul as Francis got into the bank. Yeah, interesting that Houston out of the beginning of the game, out of the opening tip, they immediately go at Max Fiedler. Usually we see them go inside to Juwan Roberts, right? Give him the ball touches early. This time it's Xavier Francis. Shed to inbound. A little short from Shed. Roberts clears the board. A great ball movement. Shed wide open from the corner. And that started with LJ Clyde passing up a shot, moving the ball to Emmanuel Sharp, and then the unselfishness of one extra pass. Fiedler kicks it out. Travis Evie hits from three. He made five of those last week against UT Martin, passing his old friend Quincy Oliveri for Rice's all-time three-point career mark. His old friend was the leading scorer for Xavier the other night on the road. Had 23 points. 
France is getting some touches. We haven't seen much of this so far in his career at Houston being the offensive fulcrum. Yeah, a great offensive strategy. Go right at Max, see if you can get him in foul trouble. And Fiedler, instead of having his arms straight up, watch him over, put his arms over the top of Jair Francis. That's an easy call. That's a foul 10 times out of 10. And boy, what a tough predicament for Scott Perra. Just a minute and 40 into this game with Max Fiedler now with two fouls. Uh, Francis gets the roll, and they're going to the big man. Fila goes to the bench, and he is replaced by Andrew Acucci, the sophomore out of Fort Lauderdale, 6'11", averaging just nine minutes a game. So he might ex see that nine-minute average tonight. Well, for Scott Perra, he runs his offense. We're talking about the three, three minutes to talk to the kid. They can't do that with Icky. And so now suddenly they're going to have to run their offense early. Fila already has three touches in just two possessions for the Owls. Mason, cross-court pass, Husanovich. Evie is run off the three-point line. And the rebound by Cryer. L.J. Cryer, 23 points, Friday and Xavier. Another touch for Francis. He goes out of Gucci. Well, that's a long rebound. Three possessions, three post entries to Javier Francis. Good work from Francis. Denying Mason. Cryer steps into a three. Cougars early on look very business-like in their early approach to this game. Mason with the Kucha. Keanu Dawes, four-star recruit out of Stratford High School. Usainovich lost it. Emmanuel Sharp with the steal. CB running the offense here. Evie knocked away by Shed. Oh, that was an excellent defense. Well, you cannot stay in front of your man any better than Jamal Shed just did. Feed around the bench with two fouls. Sharp with Roberts. It's a long way from the basket for Juwan to get the ball. The defense from Daz, Akuche with the rebound. Four possessions, four post-entry passes for the Cougars. Jojo Tugler about to enter. Busanovich, good shot fake. Busanovich hits the three. Now that is just his fifth three-point field goal of the season, shooting just 22% from behind the line coming into this game. Did not start a game until last week against UT Mark, but Selden went down with an ankle injury. He starts for the third straight time tonight. Selden is available off the bench. Francis with the offensive rebound, knocked away by Travis Evie. Here come the Owls. Evie spins away from Cryer, and Cryer called for the foul. Max Fiedler on the bench with two fouls. Houston with an 8 6 lead. A shift coming open from the corner. Early on, he had inside for two to seven. Opportunity tonight for Rice to go up against the number three team in the country, Houston. 
and they didn't have to travel far, going just five miles across town. Houston has won the last seven meetings, but Coach Pear said for his team to win tonight, they just have to be competitors, and he believes he has a roster full of competitors. He said to win this game, we have to find a way to stay disciplined with our emotions so we can stay in this high-intensity game. And just like his players, Coach Pear also a competitor, and that even translates over to the golf course when him and Coach Samson played golf together every offseason, but he did admit that Coach Samson probably the better golfer of the two. All right, good stuff, Austin. Austin was a guard at Oklahoma State in their college days, so brings that boot knowledge. I did not know that. Through the court, she's a lady cowboy. Cowgirl? Boy, they've had a lot of good teams in Stillwater. Ooh, boy, what a block by JoJo Tugler. Before we can even tell you he's entered the game, JoJo Tugler tells the sellout crowd, I'm here. It's interesting. Kevin Sampson's not happy, and I wonder if he's frustrated about the fact that JoJo slapped that out of bounds instead of blocking shots and keeping the ball live. Malik Wilson also in the game alongside Damian Dunn. They join Cryer and Roberts as the lowest starters. Contested three from Rakai Mason, the sophomore from Gilbert, Arizona. Well, that was a big shot by Mason and late in the shot clock. At 17 against Houston Christian on Sunday, 20 against Harvard earlier this season. Here's Tugler. Lost the handle right to Osinovich. And he's fouled by Wilson. Yeah, JoJo Tugler does not look comfortable down there when he's posted up and he's got that ball. If you're a big guy and you're going to dribble, it better be a power dribble, not with the ball out separated from your body. You are inviting a turnover. Boy, I'd love to see him look over his shoulder, take one power dribble, and go dunk it. Good defense. Darnett grabs a loose ball from Mesa. Cooks on the run. Wilson attacks. Tugler oh, against the smaller match. Evie. Traveling. And that's twice, and he just doesn't have his balance, right? And so you tell your post players, catch the ball, check the defense, and then make your move. And you saw that time he caught the ball, and he was already spinning and twirling and never had his balance over his feet. But boy, what a committee. I, I mean, every single possession, that ball has gone inside to start the offense for the Cougars. Mason left him short. Wilson rebounds. Levy tips it. Nearly saved it. Good pressure from the Rice defense. Now that was not Malik Wilson's fault. He picked up the ball and he had not, nowhere to go with it. Everybody was just assuming somebody else was going to come meet the ball. And uh, if you're LJ Cryer, when you got a teammate stuck, you don't want to fade back to the mid-court strike. Roberts and Wilson go to the bench. Terrence Arsenault checks in for the first time. Jamal Shedd returns. Dunn into the paint. Turnaround for Damian Dunn. Did not get the roll. Really nice box out inside by Andrew Achuke on JoJo Tobler. Anthony Selden in the game. Missed the last two with an ankle injury. Where's number four? Transfer from Garner Webb. Evie pulls it out. Alajiki. Six to shoot. Selden for Evie. Evie from deep. Shedder does. Hand off for Cryer. Who hits? That is such good early offense. I love it when Jamal Shed penetrates as deep as he can get and then just turns and flips it back to a trailing LJ Cryer. Scott Perry, the Rice's coach, talked about when you're playing Houston. I love the description. He said their defense is just jarring. They just jar you and you're never comfortable. Evie double teamed in the corner. Tugler comes out. 
thrown off Tuggler. It stays with Rice, but the shot clock is at zero. Now that's about the fourth possession in a row. Kevin Simpson's defense has forced Scott Perez Owls to either take a desperation shot, if they even got a shot off at all. Jojo Tuggler with a great double team. The ball shot gets the high screen from Tugler. Arsenault against Dawes. Arsenault, five to shoot. Ooh, he got slapped on the arm. Cryer. Arsenault offensive rebound. Jamal Shed will attack. Back for Cryer. He resets. Tugler nearly had the rebound, and he fouls Evie. Well, the Rice Owls doing a nice job battling back. Scott Perra jumping up, encouraging his team with the rebounding and playing hard. And, uh, just... 11 9 Houston. Now, here's him with Reed Dennis. Austin Ivan on the sideline. And it feels a bit like deja vu for Rice. Two years ago, these teams played. 22 minutes for Fiedler. Two points. And in foul trouble, he had four fouls. Hurt his night against Houston two years ago. He may remember that because he came out and he was really aggressive on the defensive end. Picked up two quick fouls. But listen, the longer the Rice Owls can stay close with Fiedler on the bench, boy, credit Scott Perra's group because that's a bonus. Tough finish from Damian Dunn. Uh, Mason a little out of control, spinning, and he calls a timeout. Coach Sampson thought it was a travel. That can't be a travel when you dive on the floor because you haven't established a pivot foot. What you're not allowed to do is once you're on the floor, you can't turn to avoid a defensive player. Once you turn laying on the floor to try to gain an advantage, then that is a travel. But just falling or diving or sliding on the floor, absolutely that was the correct no call. Our new coach, Rick Gettis, that says those timeouts remind you like that timeout in this situation, 11 minutes left. You know, it's hard because you don't want to criticize a kid who's trying to think and he's trying to be smart and he's trying to demonstrate, hey, I got a high basketball IQ. And, but she was maybe not in the first half because it come back and bites you in the butt. But boy, in the second half, I tell my guys, those are my timeouts. I'll call those timeouts. But I would trust Jamal Shedd. And Scott Perrin may have some seniors, Travis Eby. He may have some guys that he would trust and defer, um, but boy, inevitably those things come back and haunt you. Scott Perra, his seventh year at Rice. There's Mason. Now, let me tell you something. Statistically, every single time that the ball has gotten below the free throw line extended for the Rice Owls, with one exception, every other time has resulted in a turnover. That is not a sustainable formula for success. Here comes Shed. Great entry pass for Francis, who draws a foul. That nugget, by the way, from Stuart Geddes, our statistician. As good as anybody in the business, that's Stu Gettis. Boy, Kuche is bouncy. He was out of position and recovered with no problem at all. Great. Let's give credit to Francis for catching that pass, because how many times do we see a big man not ready for a pass? That was a hard pass from Jamal Shett. That was a fastball from really close. <laughs> Fiedler returns, a good chain to the bench, Selden as well, so Fiedler in the game with two fouls. You know, it's interesting, Javier Francis, is, his free throws look so much better than they did last year. He's only shooting 52%, which is not acceptable. He's got to be up around 65 70% for a big guy. But golly, fundamentally, it looks really good. Uh, Fiedler back in the game. Two fouls in two minutes for Fiedler. Boy, if you're in Houston, you go right back at him and see if you can pick up that third foul. Here's Fiedler. 
Evie with three seconds left. Splits the double team alley -oop for Dawes. And it's controlled by Francis. Emmanuel Sharp. have been really good in their early offense. What that is, is when you're running in transition, you run straight into your set, and it's a high screen, and boy, Jamal Shedd reading it perfectly. Mason draws a foul before the pass to Fiedler. That's Jamal Shedd's third assist in eight minutes. But you know, early offense, as opposed to you come down, you break the pressure, you set up, everybody looks at the point guard, and you call a play. Right now, the Cougars are just flowing into their offense. Fiedler to Evie, guarded by Terrence Arsenault. Contested three for Evie. Dawes gets the rebound. And the putback. Great play from Keanu Dawes, four star recruit out of Stratford High School. Yeah, six foot nine inch freshman was a finalist for the Guy V. Lewis Award, along with JoJo Tubler last year coming out of high school. Shed back for Emmanuel Sharp. And Mason grabs the rebound. I believe Rice was in a zone that time, probably to protect, protect Fiedler from picking up his third foul. Mason misses the contested three. Here comes Dunn. No more pass into Francis. Great ball movement. Sharp off the back iron. Gets his own miss. Yeah, Rice in the zone defense. Dunn probing the zone and hit it. Boy, that was nice. A dive in from the weak side. Went right up to Fiedler and then stepped back and drew him to him. Even if you're in a zone, if you got a guy in foul trouble, boy, that is the susceptible point to attack against the zone defense. Veteran play from Dunn to find the soft spot of the defense in that right zone. Mason away from Dunn. Sharp rebounds. Arsenault defended by Dawes. Arsenault over Fiedler. For the depth of this Houston team, they just keep coming at you. Mason, who's seen a pitch in the corner. Dawes on the offensive board. Husseinovich from the free throw line. Alem Husseinovich. Play the career high, 39 minutes on Saturday against Houston Christian. He's back in the starting lineup tonight. Before Husseinovich knocked down that shot, a tremendous rotation by Emmanuel Sharp to take away a pass underneath the basket and then recover to his man. Arsenal has it knocked away. A seven-point lead for Houston. The Cougars with four main threes here in this first half against the Crosstown rival Rice Owls in the 83rd all-time meeting. High motor. He was a two-time All-State, and I was wondering that about the highest-ranked recruit in Rice history. This guy was the number four player in the state of Texas. He was a top 20 power forward in the country, and he is a bundle of talent. Keanu Dawes. Had the offensive rebound and put that shortly before the media timeout. Trying to find his way. Coming off a good game against Houston Christian at 14 points, 8 rebounds. Sharp off the inbound from Jamal Shedd, the fourth assist for Shedd. Well, and Jamal Shedd almost got another one. That's now for the Houston Cougars at 7 assists on 8 made field goals. Ice hasn't scored over 3 minutes. Fiedler playing with 2 fouls. He picked the first 2 up in the first 2 minutes of the game. Selden Ooh, pushed off, offensive foul. offensive foul on Anthony Selden, the fifth-year guard from Boston. Now, we weren't sure that we were going to see Scott Perra's Swiss Army knife, and Anthony Selden did not play in the last game because of an injured ankle, but it was absolutely the right call. Zone, Rice staying in that zone defense.
Ooh, Jojo Tugler is going to be open on that baseline if you go to the high post. And with Jay Cryer. Offensive rebound, Jojo Tugler with the pop up. You know, you could almost say the same thing about Jojo that we just said about Keanu Dawes, and that's Kelvin Sampson's waiting for Jojo's aha moment. Deflected pass, stolen by Roberts. Shed for Sharp. Sharp exploding to the rim. That's the third foul on Fiedler. And Sharp will go to the line. Now, that was pretty good defense that time by Max Fiedler. Scott Paris frustrated. But that time, he jumped straight up. We saw him bring his arms down over the top of an offensive player. But this time, he does a pretty good job going straight up in the air. But that's pretty good defense by Max Fiedler. But, boy, credit Emmanuel Sharp, right? One of the things that you and I were talking before, and how much he has improved, and maybe in that area more than any other area, right? Taking it into the paint, drawing contact, getting to the free throw line. For more on Rice, let's go back to Austin Ivan. Pair in that last timeout, really putting a point of emphasis on his perimeter defense, saying we have to keep these shooters in front of us. Play one on one basketball, don't let them attack and get to the paint. And then he said, when they shoot, all five guys need to find the body and block out. We can't just turn around and try to track the ball down. Good save by Jojo Tugler. Thank you, Austin. Uh, Jojo Tugler, unbelievable energy, terrific on the ball, uh, 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 screen on the ball defense, and then recovers and knocks the pass away to the Roman player. Timeout, Scott Perra. Mid-range from Damian Duck. Yeah, you almost get the feeling that Damian Dunn can go get that shot anytime that he wants. Good feel for the game for Dunn. And he seems like a really good fit for Houston tonight if Rice wants to keep playing his zone. Now, Selden spinned away from the hoop, but he finishes. He had a clear lane to the basket. I wasn't sure where, where he was going when he spun, but, well, that was a nice-looking basket by Anthony Selden. Rice has the, the little success they've had. It's when they've spread the ball out. They haven't had any on-the-ball screens, and they've just tried to attack. Arsenal misses the three. Selden grabs the rebound. The transfer from Garner well. Dawes, a straightaway three. I'm not sure that is the shot that Scott Perra wants from his talented freshman. He is five for 16 out there. I looked over at the bench, and Scott may have said, hey, let's hold off on that one. But, boy, nobody reacted when he pulled up from there. Fiedler's been on the bench most of this first half. Reed, how has Rice changed its offense without him on the floor? Well, they, they've quit running the ball through the top of the key. Normally, they throw the ball down the top of the key. He turns, and everybody starts cutting to the basket. Now they've gotten completely out of that set. Shed gets a screen from Roberts. Perfect pass for Roberts. Reverse layup. Evie attacks. And a shot blocked by Roberts. It's saved by Dunn. Jamal Shedd already with six assists in this game. Selden with a steal. Sam Alajiki Husainovich hits the three over Dunn. Oh, Husainovich turned around and talked to the Houston bench. Not a read yet his favor when you're down by 14. You know, I, I don't know how close you have to be to do that. Single digits, I would say. But it ain't 14. Lusinovich grabs the rebound. Evie Lusinovich. Alajiki. Selden. On the floor for Rice. 
then you come back down and you're right in front of the same bench and you shake and bake yourself into the ground and that's when you got to kind of get up and say, oh, okay, my bad, I should have kept my mouth shut. We're going to take a break. The Cougars up by 14 here in the first half. 257 to go. And boy, the Cougars defense asserting themselves. Bryce Owls right now with nine turnovers. absolutely sets us apart from all of the car companies. Right now, get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 up after in the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. I recommend La Roche... May Rice continues to struggle getting the ball past the free throw line. On cue, a steal for Jamal Shep. Dunn fakes the three. Arsenault battling the bigger fellas for a rebound. Terrence Arsenault averaging about five rebounds per game has turned, him in, has turned himself into a legitimate offensive rebounding threat. Darn it for Francis. Akuche with the rebound after the Francis miss. I'm Jamal Shedd. I run by Javier Francis and say, hey, big fella, dunk it. Every time you get it, dunk it. Quit trying to go off the glass. Quit trying to have touch. Go up and dunk the basketball. Sam Alajiki off the back of the rim. Arsenault. The baby hook. Offensive rebound by Francis in the touch. Scott Barrow. Very animated on the sideline, insisting they go for one shot. Felt like walking the dog when they inbounded the ball. Popular NBA move in the backcourt. Lusinovic. Lusinovic. This the three. They're shed from midcourt. Oh, nearly there from about 60 feet from Jamal Shed. Now, Kelvin Simpson looks like he's frustrated about something. Well, let's see if we can find out what that something is. Down to Austin Ivan, who's with Kelvin Simpson. Coach, your, coach, your team came out attacking, got Rice's Max Fiedler in foul trouble. Was that a point of emphasis to play inside out? Yeah, we, we wanted to go in and uh, see what we could do there. They switched up from zone to offense. Jamal Shedd, it's a zone and um, man, Jamal Shedd has had six assists though. What has he been able to do to take advantage of? Thank you, coach. 